he didn't know and the other guy didn't know and I'm like I'm like well I'm American <laughs> that's the first thing that came out of my mouth and I totally didn't think that well they're American too <laughs> on the books for Tuesday in Edmonton um, and that's kind of what, what we got so we felt the best thing to do is to get out of Jasper 
with this weekend, there's probably no way we were going to find a, well, there is no way we're going to find a legitimate campground. And um, so we're on our way out of Jasper, probably to a town called Hinton. Um, there's one campground with one spot with water and electric, which should be good enough for us. But uh, we can't call them now because we don't have service. Because we're looking at this beautiful scenery. Oh, and uh, another cool thing on this road, which is probably why we're stopped, we just learned that a tanker truck yeah. flipped and had an explosion and like shut the whole highway down for hours and hours and hours. So we're driving into, uh, there's cars coming out the other end, so that's a good sign. But we're driving into who knows how long of sitting in the road. Um, but that's life on the road. This is our first real big drama situation, isn't it? One of them. One of them. Lindsay doesn't like me right now. You said that. She didn't say it, so I said it. Everest doesn't pick sides. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We have to. There's no solution. Even if we didn't want to figure it out and we wanted to drive to Florida, we couldn't really drive back to Florida. So we're going to figure this thing out. And it's probably going to cost us a couple bucks, a couple lot of bucks. And it's going to set us back probably at the least five days in Edmonton or I guess one tonight somewhere and four in Edmonton. But yeah, that's, that's what we got. We're um, between a rock and a hard place and the rocks right there and the hard place is somewhere through there in the engine but we're learning to keep our cool because we have to So we're in a town called Hilton. Hinton? Hinton. Or Hilton. Hilton. I don't know. We don't know. <laughs> we're in some town in Canada. Oh my goodness. We left Jasper. We drove past a truck that was on fire apparently yesterday. Traffic's been backed up for yesterday one and a half is what days. Happened? Yeah. So we drove past that and uh, we, we got the last spot. This is how it works. We got the last spot. An RV park. We've got water, electric, sewer for one night. We don't know about the rest of the nights, but we got tonight. And literally, we had no service for 20 minutes, 30 minutes yeah. after we called. I didn't reserve it at first. I never reserve it first. Lindsay and I usually talk through after I call a place or she calls a place. And then all of a sudden, we got reception. It was like, should I call them? Yeah. Lindsay said, yeah. Let's, let's call him. So I call and literally, as I'm on, with the phone, on the phone with her saying we'd like to have the spot, a truck camper pulled up to take the last spot. So she said, no, 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 I'll tell them that it's taken and you guys just show up and so here we are. So that was cool. We get that probably more than we should where we get a spot here or there. Thermopolis had happened for us last minute. Mm -hmm. But um, anyway, so we gotta figure out what to do with the other other days. No. We haven't eaten today either. Well, a couple pieces yeah, of meat and cheese and enough. chips. It's just not warm. Dogs eat enough. In case you can't tell, we both have our own pizza box. Pizzas aren't that much different, but they're delicious. We don't usually do this. We needed it today. We're just calling. Huh? <laughs> hey, buddy. We're not totally stuck. 
we're just stuck trying to find a place that we can get fixed when it's Canadian Fourth of July coming up on Monday. I'm, I would wouldn't trade it in the world. And I mean, these these are some concerns. We freak out about it first, and then we just take a deep breath and figure it out. <laughs> Worst places to be. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for checking in, Rich. I appreciate it. All right. Have a good night. So, long, long backstory from yesterday, but one of the guys that we called is in a town called Hinton, so that's actually where we are right now. He couldn't work on the truck for two weeks, but uh, he did offer this morning, I gave him a call and said, hey, we're in your town, can you read the, the codes off of it? So he did offer to do that, and he talked us through the oil thing. So he's pretty confident that we're just over full on the oil, and by doing this oil change, it should be good for a lot of reasons, but hopefully it solves our problem gives us confidence then to not have to go spend five days in Edmonton, nothing against Edmonton, but we want to get to Alaska. In five days we could be in Alaska. And I don't want so, to be here for my birthday. Yeah. Oh yeah. Be in Alaska. Yeah, that's right. We would be celebrating Lindsay's birthday in Edmonton. Yeah. We don't want to do that. So God well, willing. It's Canada, but. God willing, this is the issue. We get the oil changed. Then we go over and we meet with Scott and he runs codes and shows us that compression's all fine and that there's no other issues and then well, the pressure. Yeah. And then hopefully we're we're on our way. So this is all stuff that's beyond me. Um, so I also checked with George, our awesome, awesome friend back home, who did all the mechanic work before we left and and George said, Yeah, it's the best best case scenario is just go get it checked out with the the engine reader first or the code reader first and then go from there so hopefully we'll be on our way to alaska tomorrow or the next day mm -hmm. officially really i mean i know we're in canada kind of on our way to alaska but that's story. i feel bad so. so we went in the napa and we're getting oil for the truck and um, he finds some, but I, with the whole liter thing and all that, I don't know. I didn't know how much we needed, and I didn't know what was in the box. I didn't know if it was like a bunch of little quarts of oil or if it was big gallons. Like, I wasn't sure, and he didn't know, and the other guy didn't know, and I'm like, I'm like, well, I'm American. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing that came out of my mouth. And I totally didn't think that, well, they're American too. <laughs> I'm just from, not from Canada. Yeah. But I think they understood. <laughs> but yeah. I just feel bad that I said that. American, eh? <laughs> So our story is just keeps getting better for the day. Um, what started out as catastrophe and truck issues has turned into uh, getting to make new friends as uh, kind of this journey goes for us. We get into some situation uh, or we open ourselves up to helping people and we get invited into a really awesome experience. So right now we are camping, we're boondocking with the family of the lady who took care of all of our truck issues today. We got the oil changed. We found out we had brake pads that were worn out in the back. Got those fixed. And we had some headlights out. Not headlights, but our turn, turn signals were out. So we got all that fixed up. And there are with the dogs that don't like to be on camera. Everest isn't among them because she's not finishing dinner yet. But this is camp. We're about 10 miles down a dirt road into what's Canadian, the equivalent of Canadian BLM land. So it's public land. And we're right on the edge of this nice open field. Told to expect deer at some point. <laughs> 